It's um some time. Hey guys, hold on. Now let's guess the title of my next video. Yeah, he's a super dog. Dogs' noses have more than 200 million sense receptors. Whoa! So, they have an extraordinary smelling ability. Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. Why does water dance on a hot pan? Cause it likes to sizzle! <laughs> And 100 degrees Celsius. Get ready, water droplets. It's time to boil and evaporate. Okay, let's cross 200 degrees, guys. Whoa, it's so hot that the lower part of the water droplet immediately vaporizes. Holy moly, what's that? An insulating vapor pocket is created beneath the droplet. And now, the vapor molecules are trying to escape from it. They are pushing the droplet around, making it dance. This is called the Leiden Frost Effect. Topic Buoyancy. <laughs> oh! hmm? Can you drown in the Dead Sea? Your answer must be yes, right? You must be thinking that anyone who cannot swim will obviously drown, whether it is a swimming pool or the Dead Sea. However, that is not 100% true. Confused? Let me explain to you. When an object is partly or wholly immersed in a fluid, an upward force is exerted by the fluid on that object. This tendency of the fluid to exert an upward force on the object is called buoyancy, or upthrust. This upward force is called buoyant force. So, do you finally get it? Hmm, let me give you one more example. Place a piece of wood in water and push it downwards. What do you observe? It seems like something is pushing the piece of wood upwards, right? Water exerts an upward force on the wood. That is why the wood is getting pushed upwards. This force is called buoyant force, and the tendency of water to exert that buoyant force is called buoyancy. Dead Sea has a huge amount of salt dissolved in it as compared to any other sea or ocean. The presence of this salt increases density of water present in the Dead Sea. Higher density leads to greater buoyant force. As the Dead Sea has very high density, it exerts enough amount of buoyant force to make us float on it. So, if we can float on the Dead Sea, we are definitely not going to drown in it. <laughs> Hooray! Topic, kidney stones. Huh? What causes kidney stones? Swallowing a stone? <laughs> no. <laughs> Our kidneys filter blood by removing waste oh. from it in the form of urine. Urine consists of water, urea, uric acid, and ions like calcium, sodium, oxalate, and potassium. Hmm. However, when some of these constituents such as uric acid, calcium, and oxalate ions oh. increase in the urine, <laughs> they bond together forming kidney stones or renal calculi. One of the most common kidney stones is calcium oxalate. So can I use it to build my house? <laughs> oh, just listen. Generally, the kidney stones are small. Hmm. Hence, they pass unnoticed through the urinary tract. However, sometimes these stones become so big that they start to scratch walls of the urinary tract and may block the path of the urine, thus causing immense pain. <laughs> Why do elephants huh? have big ears? To fly! <laughs> Not at all. Ears basically help to hear. Hmm. Besides this, big ears of an elephant also help it to regulate its body temperature. But how can ears help to regulate body temperature? In living beings like elephants, blood supplies heat to oh. all parts of the body, thus helping it to maintain the body temperature. <sighs> However, due to metabolic activities or hot climate, oh. 
Sometimes heat in the blood can increase, huh? thus increasing <laughs> the body temperature of the elephant. Now, an elephant's big ears are filled with blood vessels which oh. are very close to the surface of the skin. Hence, when blood having more amount of heat flows through the ears of the elephant, the heat from the blood <laughs> escapes into the atmosphere, cooling the blood and in turn cooling the elephant. <laughs> Is spicy food bad for you? Obviously, because whenever I eat spicy food, my mouth seems to be on fire. This is because spicy food generally contains chili peppers. Chili peppers have a chemical called capsaicin. When capsaicin comes in contact with our tongue, it activates the heat sensing receptors instead of our taste buds. As a result, our brain thinks that our mouth is on fire. So, shall I call the fire brigade? Oh, just listen. Capsaicin present in spicy food is not necessarily bad for everybody. Only those people who have a low tolerance level or don't have a habit of eating spicy food can experience some problems like burning mouth, irritation of the stomach lining, heartburn, etc. Hmm.